Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB, and in this video, you're going to learn how to use the parameters section to customize your CloudFormation templates in AWS. Let's get into it. Let's start by navigating to the CloudFormation service, then click on Create Stack with New Resources. Here, I'm going to upload a YAML template file. Let's open this file and look at the parameters section. Attention! Here, I'm defining a parameter called instance type parameter, which is of the type string. For default value, I'm specifying m1.small, but for allowed values, I'm specifying t2.micro, m1.small, and m1.large. You can also specify a description in the parameters section. Next, Let's look at the resources section. Here, I'm specifying a resource called web server instance, which is of the type EC2. In the properties section, I'm defining the availability zone, image ID, and security group IDs. For instance type, I'm using the ref keyword to reference the instance type parameter that we defined in the parameters section. Let's upload this YAML file then hit next. Give your stack a name, and in the parameters section, you should see the instance type parameter set to m1.small as the default value. I'm going to select t2.micro from the dropdown, then hit next. I'm going to leave all the stack options to the default values, click next, review all the options, then hit submit. Your stack should now be in create in progress status. Give it a few minutes for the stack creation process to complete and the status should change to create underscore complete. Let's navigate to the resources tab and click on the physical ID to confirm that the EC2 instance that was deployed was indeed of the type t2.micro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here are the three things you need to remember when using parameters in AWS CloudFormation. Number one, you can have a maximum of 200 parameters in an AWS CloudFormation template. Number two, each parameter must be assigned a parameter type which is supported by AWS. And number three, parameters must be declared and referenced from within the same template. There you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.